What a lovely turn of events. <laughs> anyway, hi guys, it's Hedgy, and we're back with some more Danganronpa. Last time, Saika died. And... I don't know. But also, Junko died. So we're down two students already. And... I gently placed my hand on Juko's lifeless body. I touched her wrist to check for a pulse, like they do in movies and stuff. But... She... really is dead. Well, I mean, yeah, all those spears and impaled through her heart and body, yeah, she's probably dead. Yeah, dude. There wasn't anything else to say. She was gone. <laughs> I don't know why you even bothered to check. After those injuries and losing that much blood... Frankly, I'd be shocked if she did survive something like that. Would you be shocked? You have no expression, sir. Huh? Huh? Hold on. <laughs> Hold on! Just wait a second! Wait, what are you sparked out about? She's... dead? Then that means... What? That means everything that's happened so far is real? It's not a joke or whatever? It's really real? Yeah, it's really real, but it... Let me out no, of here! No. Someone save me! Let me out of here! Somebody help me! What's so your problem? I so because I don't want my neighbors thinking I need help. You, you're just now accepting that? Alright. So let's see, who do I... I think I can go ahead and talk to Kyoko. What's up? Hey. Before we start searching for Sayaka's killer, we need to decide what to do about securing the crime scene. What do you mean? Hmm. You're thinking of putting someone on guard duty so that no one can, nobody can disturb the area, aren't you? Yep, yeah, she is. After all, if the culprit decides to destroy the evidence, we're pretty much screwed. Hey. In that case, I don't mind doing it. Yeah, let, let Mondo do it. I don't like having to think anyway. <laughs> wow. Made him look like the airhead. I'll let you guys figure out who killed that chick. Hmm. Okay, then. We can let Mondo look after the scene. Makes sense. <laughs> well, no. We can't just leave him there alone. What? What? Why the hell not? It's a good question, actually. Stop talking. Isn't it obvious? If you were the culprit, what's the first thing you would do? By volunteering for guard duty, you're in a position to destroy all the evidence you want. Good point, actually. Yeah. What? Fuck you! No, 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 no! Fuck you! You may be the killer. Who knows? So then. Fine then. I'll stay there on guard duty as well. That way, there's no problem. Mm hmm. Two-player co-op base defense with the two of them. With their stats, they're totally OP. Now's not the time, my dude. Huh. Since we won't be able to help investigate, we're putting our faith, our faith in the rest of you. Okay, cool. Right. I'm still pretty freaked out, but I'll try. Alright, so wait, who do I talk to now? Do I talk to everybody else? Let's start with Hifumi and go around. Hifumi? Um... Consciousness has crashed. Restarting now. Please wait a moment. Oh, okay. Uh, going left or right, Toko uh, is hiding behind, yeah. She must be so shocked that she can't even open her mouth to talk. Okay, what about Chihiro? Chihiro is probably even worse what off. What should I do? Someone got right in front of us today. <laughs> oh. Okay, I've already talked with Sakura, but let's try again. <sighs> we can't run away from the situation, so we have no choice but to move forward. Okay, I think she said that already. Yeah, Hiro, what's up? <laughs> Let Come me on, man. out of Let here! Me out of here. Come on, someone let me out. Okay, Mondo? Huh? Is this really happening? Don't fuck with me. Screw that piece of shit, bear. Okay, I've already talked to Kyoko. Let's go to Celeste. Oh. Why are you standing over the body, by the way? <laughs> <laughs> so you finally noticed. What? What the crap? Huh? Noticed what? <laughs> I was looking through the mono Monokuma file we received. Oh? And I know something very obvious and very unusual. Huh? Huh? What are you talking about? 
<laughs> Go ahead, take a look. Notice anything interesting about where Sayaka died? Wait, what are you trying to imply? She died in Makoto's dorm. Ah! What? She's right. Wait, 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 wait. Hold up. <laughs> then could it be? What are you implying? All at once, everyone's gaze turned to me. Hold up, hold up. Hold on a second. You've got it all wrong. For just one night, I traded rooms with her. I did it because she was afraid. This is true. <laughs> what the you expect heck? us to believe that? Just tell us the truth. I am telling the truth. The look in everyone's eyes had done a complete 180 from just a few minutes earlier. Uh, oh dear. Um, the feeling of suspicion and fear had returned. In other words, you think I did it? So then. Are we all done talking? Yeah, hold up, hold up, hold up. I ain't do shit. <laughs> we need to bargain our, oh, begin rather, our investigation soon. At this point, we should split up. We need to get to the bottom of this and find out who killed Sayaka. Yeah. We'll have to collect clues from, to form a foundation, then construct an argument to come to a final decision. If we get this wrong... So... Well, do I really have to say any more? Actually... I'd rather you didn't, no. I don't blame Hifumi. Goodbye. So basically, if we lose, that's our game over. That's our, um, that's our lose condition, basically. If we mess up this trial, that's our lose condition as game over. We want to pray for good luck. With that, Kyoko hurried out of the gym. She actually hurried? What? Goodbye. I'll be going too. And with that, Kyoko, just like Kyoko, he was gone before we realized it. Yo. Oh yeah, I'm on guard duty, huh? I better head to the scene of the crime. Mm. Ah, that's right. Hey, damn it. Let me just say this right now. If whatever son of a bitch did this is here right now, and they're thinking of destroying that evidence. You're fucking dead. They better not let me find them. I'll skip the trial and cave their skull in myself. I'm serious. I will fuck them up. Oh, oh okay. Sir. Letting his deadly words hang in the air, he and Sakura ran off. So, um... But I mean, we're not detectives or anything, you know? And we're not just going to investigate a murder. I like how you're talking to me like I didn't do it, and then turn around y'all looked at me like... Really? How do we even do something like that? That's a good question. I have no idea. Anyway. We don't really have to do anything in particular. We already know who killed Sayaka. Do you? Do you? What are you implying? This is it was very you. suspicious. Wait, what? Hold up. What? <laughs> I'm telling you, it wasn't me. I didn't do shit. <laughs> Holy fuck. Okay, don't come any closer. Are you going to kill me next? I didn't kill anybody. So, um... Well, I guess it wouldn't hurt to give it a shot. It's not for sure that Makoto's guilty yet. Oh, thank you, Hina. Finally, the voice of reason. Um... That's true. We may as well at least check the... Just to check. Let me read that again. We may as well check. We may as well at least check just to check. Wow. <laughs> Even if I wanted to, I couldn't help investigate. Yeah, investigate before you start blaming people, Toko. Uh, Wait, why not? <sighs> I'm not good with blood. I'm sorry? You write novels. There's got to be a little bit of action that would create, you know, bloody scenes, so to speak. All it takes is one glimpse and I black out. Wait, you haven't blacked out yet. Oh, yeah? Well, whatever. Given the fact that Junko is, you know, just laying there and blood and a bloody heap. Yeah, I'm amazed you haven't blacked out yet, by the way. Well, whatever. I don't think anyone was expecting much from you anyway. <laughs> Damn, Leon. Thick with the spice. I like it. Alright, I guess I better get going. Uh, wait, don't go yet. You have to hear me out. What? But it was pointless. Everyone had already left. And their parting looks at me has still been filled with suspicion. So wait, they're claiming I did it already? Wow. Thanks, game. Does everyone really think I'm the killer? How did it turn out like this? I like how we could still see the spikes that went through Junko's body just, like, laying there at the bottom of the screen. <laughs> Seriously, they've got it all wrong. 
Why do they have to suspect me? I mean, they were just so quick to say, hey, look, you did it. I'm like, wow, I have to do something. Okay, that kind of makes sense. Otherwise, we wouldn't have much of a game, now would we? Otherwise, everyone will... Execution is... Execution. Execution! Electric chair. Bzz, 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 poison gas. <laughs> Torn apart like a paper plane in a hurricane. I can't let that happen. So wait, what? So am I considered the blacken? What? I can't let things turn out the way Monokuma wants. All I have to do is find out who really did it. Who really killed Sayaka? So, investi uh, it's time to investigate, okay. I guess I should look through the Monokuma file we got before. The victim was Sayaka Mazono. The time of death is estimated to be around 1.30 a.m. Okay, so 1.30 in the morning. The body was discovered in Makoto's room in the dormitory. All evidence suggests that the death took place in the bathroom. The cause of death was a stab wound to the abdomen. There was also an injury to her right wrist. What? Specifically, the wrist appears to have suffered a fracture. So she's got a broken arm, and she had a broken wrist and got stabbed in the stomach. Ooh, that's gotta hurt. We have no choice but to push forward if we want to find out what happened. Somehow, I have to find out the truth. So that we can all survive. Wait, Hiro and, um, Hiro and Chihiro actually stuck around with me. And for Sayaka? I have to find out how she was killed. Alright, so I got Monokuma file number one. Gotcha. Add it to the truth bullet section of your handbook. Got it. So let's look at that real quick. Alright, so we got Monokuma file number one. It literally just basically says what I had looked at earlier. Okay, Saiga, time of death was 1.30, in my room, the bathroom, stab wound, and she was, she had her wrist broken. Okay. Let's talk to Chihiro. Aren't you gonna help investigate, um. Chihiro? Alright, can't leave Junko here. Alright, have to stay with her. And what's up, Hiro? Uh, no way. I seriously don't want to die here. Help me! Begging you. God, Buddha, Mother Earth, God of Space, King Neptune, God of Space, really? King Neptune, King Neptune? What? I don't care who it is, just get me out of here. Hero doesn't seem prepared to do any kind of investigating. Okay, yeah, Hero's not in his mind, right mind. But, uh, let's see, uh, I guess, let's investigate Junko a little more. Okay, is it literally just, yeah. Okay. Let's exit. Um, I don't want to go back to the scene of the crime. That's not going to help me at all. Wait, why am I here now? Let's see. Uh, what's this? Inside the display case are trophies and other items. Okay. Let's look at the monitor. Maybe the monitor will tell me something. That's it. The monitor Monokuma always shows up on. There's got to be a clue here. Or not. Wow, thanks. I did get a token, though. So I have three of those now. What do those tokens do? Alright, I guess we'll leave. There's nothing here for me. Wait, what? Ah, keep pushing X. Uh, oh, wait, what? Hold up. There's a camera. Whoever's behind this must be using these cameras to observe our investigation. To force us in a t into a situation like this? What the hell do they want from us? That's a good question. What the hell do they want from us? The camera doesn't help me at all. Um, there's just the monitor left. That's it. There's gotta be a clue. No, okay. So let's leave. Let's leave the gym. And I end up back here for some reason. I guess that's the door to the gym. So, I keep pushing X, hold up. Let's exit. Let's leave the area. Okay, there we go. First of all, I should head to the scene of the crime. That's probably the worst idea. <laughs> we won't make any progress without investigating there. So I headed to my room, where Sayaka's corpse still remained. 
That's not a good idea, Madu. Hi. I better examine the state of my room a little closer. That might reveal something new. Uh, let's see. I have a lot of investigation to do. Let's start with my notepad. Notepad is still here, but... Okay. Check my drawer. Toolkit. Okay. Makes sense, I guess. I mean, it's mine, and I haven't had any reason to open it. I can't even imagine a situation where I need a toolkit like this. Yo. Yeah, seriously. Oh, Mundo. Uh, you didn't analyze those two in your room? Holy crap. What? We didn't what? And exactly in the mood to be building fucking furniture, right? So you haven't used yours either then. What? Not just me. Nobody's what? busted theirs out yet, as far as I know. Actually, we were talking about it yesterday. By the way. None of the guys had opened their toolkits yet. Cause like, why the hell would we? Good, good point, actually. Okay, I still have my, the toolkit's been added to the truth bullets, hold up. Wait, what, why? Okay, this had been placed in Makoto's room before he arrived. It remains unopened and there's no evidence of it having ever been used. All the other male students claim they haven't used theirs either, but still. Okay, can I, can I, let's, ah, whoa, wait, Kyoko, what the hell? Where'd you come from? Hey, Kyoko. I quietly, quietly called her name while she's investigating the area. But... What are you doing? Isn't it obvious? N no. Not really. I'm searching. Searching? She was down on her knees, carefully inspecting every inch of my room. Did you lose a contact or something? Wow, you're dense, dude. I don't know what she's doing exactly, but she seems to be concentrating pretty hard on it. Okay, what about Sakura? Sakura, what's up? Sakura, do you think I'm guilty too? Hey! I tried to not I tried not to make assumptions like that. I simply don't know whether or not you did this. Wow. So, you think I'm guilty? Cool. Hmm. Whatever decision the rest of you come up with, I will follow your lead. Oh, okay. I see. Uh, let's explore a little more. Uh, what else we, can we explore? Um... The key? There's a key. Yep, my room key. If I remember correctly. Oh, no, don't give us Sayaka again. That's right. We'll have to trade keys. When we switched rooms, we switched keys, too. So Sayaka would have had the key here in my room the entire time. But wait, if that's true, then... How did the killer get into the room in the first place? Could Sayaka have forgotten to lock the door? No, that seems impossible. The same goes for you, Sayaka. No matter who it is, don't open your door for anyone. Even if I'm sure it's you, I absolutely won't open it. Otherwise, what's the point of even switching? After saying that, there's no way she could have forgotten the locket or opened it for any reason. Yeah, hold up a second. Well, maybe she dropped the key somewhere and someone else grabbed it or something. But why would it... Hmm. No, that's not possible either. Sayaka was in here when we switched rooms. And with how scared she was, she wouldn't have gone walking around, so she couldn't have dropped it. So how did the killer... Switching rooms has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. Okay, so we got that. Uh, what about the sword? Let's check the sword again. This is the replica sword. Does this mean it was used in the attack somehow? I've skipped it. I don't care. And plus, it's been taken out of its sheath. I hadn't actually looked at the blade itself till now. I shouldn't be surprised it's coated in gold, too. On top of that, some of the gold plating has come off of parts of the blade and the handle. Yeah, the handle especially is missing a lot of its coating. Hmm. I remember the coating sticks to you even if you just touch it a little bit. Ah, I understand now. So we have to find somebody who has gold on their hands. And then we'll find the killer. 
Um. Okay. Uh, let me see. Let's try talking to Kyoko again. Maybe I'll find something. What are you? Isn't it obvious? Okay. No. Okay. Let's just. Uh, can I just skip this cutscene completely? I'm searching. Uh. Did you lose a car? Frick. I already know. So that's not going to give us anything. Mundo, what's up? Talk to you again? By the way. You know, I realized something while I was on guard duty. The killer could have already destroyed some evidence, right? Before anyone found the body, I mean. There's a trash room here in the dorms, right? They could have tossed some stuff in there. Y yeah, that's definitely possible. You son of a bitch. That dirty bastard. Ugh, shit. Anyone who raises their hand to a woman is scum that deserves death. That's what my brother taught me. Wow. You're fucking dead. So if dead. I ever find the son of a bitch that did this, I'm gonna pound his face in. But, but what if it's a girl that did it? Good point, actually. <laughs> Yo. That all gets sorted out when the time comes. Okay, uh, let's see. Let's check the... Uh, I think that's the sheath. Yeah, this is the replica sword. Okay. Uh, oh. And plus, the sword's been taken out, so it's just the sheath, but... Huh? There's some scratches on the sheath. They must have been made with something sharp. But how did the sheath get scratched up in the first place? Even if someone used the sword during the struggle, it doesn't make sense for the sheath to be damaged. I mean, if you're gonna attack someone with a sword, the first thing you do is, un is unsheath it. A heavy sheath like this would only get in the way. It could just slide right off in the middle of the fight. So why are there scratches on the sheath? Self-defense, maybe? Protection? I don't know. All right, let's add this, the sheath to the truth bullets as well. Uh, to my bed, maybe? There are gouges on the bed, like someone attacked it. What the hell happened here? Okay, the bed doesn't give me anything. anything anywhere else I have to explore? Camera, of course. Let's check the camera. Surveillance camera. The mastermind must be doing this, using them to keep an eye on everything that's happening here. They don't do it. They don't do anything to stop what's happening. They just keep on watching. Okay, I thought I could get something out of it. Um, uh, anything else? The lint roller, maybe? Huh? Looking at the lint roller, looks like there's way less than there was before. Did Sayaka see how dirty my room was and decide to clean up a little? Okay, that's no help at all. Let's exit and see what happens. Before anything else, I need to investigate my room. Okay, so I cannot exit. What did I miss? There's something behind uh, Sakura. Let's... No, I didn't want to talk to Sakura again. Hey. Hmm. I wanted to explore what was behind. No, that's the door. Uh, all right. Let's see. Yeah, there's something behind Sakura, but I can't see it. Is it the plant? No, that's Sakura again. There we go. It's the display stand the sword was on. Okay. Uh, let's see. What else? Uh, there's the monitor. I'm looking, looking. The bathroom. Bathroom itself. All right. I should look around here first. I could check out other spots later. What else is left? I've already looked at the scratches on the floor. I've looked at everything. The monitor. That's literally it. There are scratches. Oh, the scratches on walls. Okay. Uh, my walls in bed. Is that evidence of a struggle? It's a good question. It looks like there must have been some kind of fight in my room. Wow, it took me 24 minutes to realize that. Damn it, I was right in the other room. If only I'd heard something. Wait. That would not have been possible. Soundproof walls. Makes sense, huh? Huh. Don't you remember? All of our rooms are completely soundproof. Yep, that's what I thought. So something could have happened in the room right next to you and there's no way you could know. Well. Perhaps this was another of Monokuma's strategies, creating an ideal setting for murder. Yeah, that makes sense. Evidence of a struggle has been added to the truth bullets. Okay. So that's everything, right? Uh, I think that's everything. Can I leave now? 
no. What did I miss? What the hell did I miss? I don't think I missed anything. Can I go in the bathroom now? Ah! I had to miss something, but I don't know what exactly. Okay, so toolkit's not useful. Let's go to the bed one more time. Um, hmm. Table? No? The trash can. There we go. Nope. Okay. I've explored everything, so why can't I leave? Makoto! What the hell? Looks like there must have been- Oh, mm -hmm. I already know this. Our rooms are completely soundproof, remember? If anything happened, there's no way you could know. Well, perhaps it's- Oh, I think I got it now. Wait. Oh no. Wait. The notepad's still empty, right? There's gotta be something. There's something I'm missing here. Uh, let me check Kyoko. Let's talk to Kyoko real quick. What are you- Isn't it- I'm sir- Sir- did you? Ah, that's nothing. Listen. Are you a clean freak? Oh, well, she's talking again. Hold up. Huh? N no, I don't think so. But what? Nodding. She glanced around my room one more time. Oh, so I needed to talk to Kyoko again. Okay, nice. That was nice to know that I needed to know that. I see. What? Interesting. Interesting. What? What's interesting? Hey. Just as I suspected. There's something very unusual about you. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Purple, purple, purple. Unusual? What do you mean? So... I searched your floor from one corner to another. And I didn't find one single strand of hair. What? Really? Indeed. Not one hair from the victim, and not one hair from you. Even though you've been living in here. You know, now that you mention it... I've noticed something while I was looking around before. It looked like the lint roller in my room had been used, but I'd never touched it. Could someone have used it to... I see. Very interesting. Your room didn't have a single hair in it, and someone used your lint roller without your knowledge. In other words, someone other than you came in and scrubbed your room clean. Hmm. Was it Sayaka? Or the killer? Well, that's the question, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, that's the question. That's why I asked it. Makoto's room cleanliness has been added to the truth bullets. All right. Uh, let's check the lint roller one more time, and then we'll call it an episode because I am quite curious. Huh? Wait, let's. Okay. They're just asking again. Let's leave the room, and we'll go ahead and save and quit. Can I leave now? No. Okay, so we're still in here. Let's check them on. By the way. All right. Trash room. Yeah, I already know. You're freaking. Okay, Yo. okay, we get it. Um, Sakura, will you say anything different? Hey. No. So let's check with Kyoko one more time. Hey. This is just. This is I suspected something very unusual about your room when you agree. Okay. Let's check the bathroom, probably. The bathroom. And on the other side of this door is the negative version of so uh, Sayaka. No. I can't let it get to me. I can't afford to freeze up now. Forcing myself to push my panic down, I stepped into the bathroom. Looking at her made it painfully clear it wasn't a dream, or an illusion. She had lost everything that made her, her. Sayaka. 
All at once, I was overcome with dizziness, nausea, the urge to burst into tears. But I can't, I can't hesitate now. Why? Why does Sayaka have to die? I have to uncover the truth. I have to find out what happened. I wanted to give up. I wanted to collapse. But that thought held me up and supported me. <sighs> we'll have to take a look at the bathroom in the next episode. I'm running a little long. Next time on Danganronpa, we're gonna explore the, like, investigate the bathroom and see what's going on with Saika's dead body. Uh, this is... This is kinda unnerving. I'm not gonna lie. Till then, Hedgy, out. Bye, yo.